in this experiment we are doing forward and reverse characteristics of photodiode now we are doing forward characteristics of photodiode in forward bias condition the photodiode works like a normal p injection diode so now if you vary the supply voltage you can see that the voltage across the photodiode is increasing but the current remains zero because of the depletion region voltage now as soon as the voltage across the LDR increases more than 0.8 the LDR starts conducting because the cut-in voltage for this photodiode is around 0.8 to 0.9 now keep on varying the voltage now you can see that the current is increasing but the voltage across the LDR remains 1.0 because uh, for this photodiode the knee voltage is 1.0 so even if we even if we increase the supply voltage the voltage across the LDR will remain 1 but the current will increase so for noting the readings you can increase the current in steps of 0.5 now it is 1.5 to you can see that the voltage across the LDR remains 1 because the because 1.0 is the knee voltage of LDR in this experiment we use milliammeter because uh, in forward bias conduction condition the current is in terms of milliammeter so note down the readings so after you go for the higher if you vary the supply more the voltage across the LDR will only go to 1.1 it will be varying from 1 to 1.1 only now this is the uh, light source so even if you give the light source you can see that the current and the voltage remains same see because the photodiode is designed to work in the reverse bias condition in forward bias condition even if you give the intensity the values of the voltage and current remains constant now this is the reverse characteristics of LDR the earlier the LDR, LDR was connected in forward bias now you have to just reverse the polarity of the LDR and uh, in the forward bias condition milliammeter was used but in the reverse bias condition we have to use microammeter because uh, the conduction will be due to leakage current and leakage current is in terms of milliammeter now you have to vary the supply voltage such that the voltage across the LDR is 5 volts across the LDR is 5 volts and note down the corresponding current now you have to vary the current in steps by varying the intensity of the lamp the voltage across the LDR should be maintained constant to 5 volts now you have to vary the intensity of the lamp so that you will get the variation in current in steps See. now it's 2.7 if you increase the intensity the current keeps the current keeps on in increasing now you can take 5 then 10 like that you can vary the current in steps the voltage will remain constant as 5 volts and the current will vary and then plot the corresponding graph